This is our USDS Select steak. So at the Costco Business Center, you can buy USDS Select beef. So as you can see, the ribeye is still really expensive at 11.49 per pound. That's very expensive. And it looks like this. And you see the strip steak is uh, less than, it's about half the price, right? Compared to the rib eye. So I'm gonna buy uh, one of these and cut it open and see how it looks like. Looks like this. There are other cuts as well, but they are not much cheaper compared to the choice cuts. So I think uh, it's probably better to go with USDS uh, choice. But this is a strip steak as well. Uh, this is top sirloin. Yeah, so the prices are better. Beef shoulder roast, usually they are called chucks. And if you buy the chuck roll without the neck, it's a little bit cheaper by half a dollar per pound. So here you go, we're buying this one. Hello everyone, so I bought this uh, New York strip steak roast from uh, Costco. So what's special about this one is it's actually uh, rated at USDA select. So usually at least it's USDA choice, right? And then before I also bought the same thing, but it's USDA prime. And the price was $7.99 per pound. So as you can see, select steaks are not cheap. So usually it's totally not worth it. So I don't know who would actually buy this. Um, the restaurants won't. Um, so I, I don't get it. Um, and the only place I could find select beef uh, is at Costco Business Center. Um, and that's where I got this from. Um, and I bought this only out of uh, curiosity. And the reason why I went with uh, strip steak is because uh, the rib eye was costing more than $11 per pound. So obviously, don't buy that. Okay. And today, we're just going to cut this into a uh, grilling uh, cuts, you know, pieces of steaks. And then we'll grill one and see how it's going to taste. So this is a tougher uh, piece of muscle. Um, so it's going to be chewy for sure. But I wonder, like, how bad is, it is going to be, you know. So it looks like this. This is the cross section. You don't see a lot of uh, marbling. So as you can see, the way I cut it is you you go this way and then you, you basically you don't want to lift the knife if you do that it's not gonna be this this good you'll clearly see you know like a different cut basically because you lifted the knife so don't do that then it's gonna be good so i i, I don't think this is much worse than uh choice meats to be honest but i really don't know um the only way to tell is to grill it and see how it tastes. Alright, not a lot of marbling. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't do a good job here. I lifted the knife. So as a result, you see, this part is like the leftover from this piece of steak. So do not lift the knife. It's going to be difficult, but you know, cut it all the way. You can move back and forth, but just don't, you know, reposition the knife. 
Or this is another example. I moved the knife slightly and the result is like this line. It's not not really bad, but if we can avoid that, that would be better, right? All right, we ended up with uh, 11 grilling steaks, uh, you know, just like this. And we'll grill these two pieces uh, first. And this is the nerve, as you can see. So this is a nerve cut. I, I guess all of them are, but this one is especially bad. So we'll start with this two. And this final one, you know, the end cut, uh, this cannot be used as a grilling steak. We'll use this for beef stew. Uh, that's it. And you see, like, this is has a lot of nerve as well. They call it nerve, but it's not really nerve nerve, you know. Here are the two steaks. And we were able to remove the fat caps. See, that's a lot of fat. I'm seasoning the grate. Cleaning and seasoning. See? Alright, now it's done seasoning. Let's go. Not ready yet. We're shooting for 140. Alright, I think this one is about ready. This one is ready as well, so I'll rest them for 10 minutes. Alright, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna cut this open and in halves and see uh, how it tastes. Alright, it looks like this at 145 to 150 degrees. It looks like it's well done, but it's not. At least by measurement, it's not. But the look really doesn't, it doesn't really look like it's medium. Let me uh, give it a try. Mm. It's definitely more chewy than um, the strip steaks that we usually have, which is at least a USDA choice. But it's not bad. It's it's okay, you know. Hmm. It's okay. It is a still beef, so when if the price is really good, three dollars per pound, I would do it. But it's like if it's like more than five dollars per pound, I wouldn't do it. Because I think for strip steaks, if it's more than five dollars per pound, you can buy, you know, uh, you can pay the same for USDA choice steaks. All right, that's it. It's all about the price point. All right, indoor, you can see the pink part. All right, this makes sense now. It's not well done. It's probably medium, right? 150, 145 degrees. And again, I would do it if it's like 3.99 per pound, but at 5.49 per pound, no.